In the adventure today, I wanted to learn how to become a better sniper. Because after all those hours in DayZ, I have never really been that guy sniping from far distances and trying to get kills that way. I've always been close up trying to get the PvP done, and today I came across a new base location that I could use and that would be perfect for this sniper quest. Now, let's start at the beginning. We started out on a brand new server that has been released yesterday. So I went into the game to get up with Reacher and we decided to check it out. First we went to Paris Island, but that didn't end so well. Oh, bro, are you kidding me? And well, we decided to go again. This time we decided to go for a small island on the middle right of the map. Now this island is very special because it has high tier loot, but usually people do not bother to run all the way over there just to get the chance of finding that nice loot, but we decided to do that. Quickly, I decided to loot barracks and it paid off. The loot I was getting was getting better and better and better until... yeah. Well, Richard died. He died to splinter by a sickle because his gun ran out of ammo. Now, you guys know me. I immediately went to the situation and with the short scope, I managed to hit him once. I started chasing him because I hit him once and I figured he'd be low HP. But to my surprise, the guy kept running and eventually I unfortunately lost him. A moment later though, I kept looting and looting and I eventually realized I had hit the jackpot. And so I decided to move back up the map without finding this guy in hopes of getting the high tier and in hopes of being able to sell some of the valuable guns that I had just attained. And after a long journey across the map, I had made it up to the high tier trader. I made sure it was safe, snuck up to the actual vending machine, made sure to sell all the spare guns that I wasn't going to be using. And that meant that it left me with 18,000 rubles that I had acquired through this loot run. I decided to use the money for a startup. It was kind of mandatory because without the startup I would not even have a base and I couldn't hide anywhere. And this is where the story really begins. Because from this moment at the high tier trader I decided to go look for a spot. A place where I could build up my base and build up my camp and where I could be safe. And I went into the mountains of their isle and I eventually discovered an old school that was abandoned. You know what guys, this could be it, you know? This could be the place. I haven't really been here a lot. I've seen it before. It should be like one of those uh, abandoned schools, but this one is like really high up in the mountains. I'm quickly going to go to the top, to the roof here. I'm going to take the ladder up there. Because there should be, um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. We're in the middle of the mountains, like the high mountains. The radio tower right there. No one ever comes here. This is like the most random place in the top of the mountains, like really high up. Right, guys, I've done it. I'm putting down the tent. I'm going to live here with whoever's going to be with me. And uh, yeah, if I try and hide myself a little bit more, we can probably be like even unfindable because no one ever checks up here. Unless someone decides to start shooting, probably. If you think about it, look at the view. It's a little bit buggy, I guess. But look at the view. You can view all the way down there. Even all the way to the, the extraction zone. There's a guy. There's actually a guy there. Two guys. Is that gonna hit him? Probably not. This is like an 800 meter snipe at least. He's running away into the true line. His teammate is frozen there, but I assume that's because he's already been teleported to the safe zone. <laughs> but from this school, we can see anything really if the fog isn't blocking us. I have to admit, guys, I'm kind of bad with sniping, but we're gonna—I'm gonna learn how to properly range snipers, even with these like high calibers. I'm going to learn how to properly range a sniper, so I'm going to get some good snipes for you guys. Because I'm going to learn how to do it properly. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, to a military, another tier 4 military at the Area 42. It's a very popular place, but it's going to be alright because I'm going to try and play it very safely. But I guess we'll see. Uh, 
Now the thing with this Paris Island and with this is that a guy? That is a guy. I knew it. Headshot, come on. And that was a hit, but not a headshot. Damn, okay, he's gonna run now. But he's looking back. He's got a tapper. He probably has a tapper, to be fair. If he does that, if he turns around and starts shooting back, that's probably when he's so confident with his armor and tapper. No? I don't really wanna... Like, make it too obvious that I'm peeking him, but... I wanna sn try and snipe him here. There's only two ways off that island, so... This is one of them. Definitely some PvP Chad, this guy. Some PvP legend. Right, he's still there. He's still there on the on the uh, on the plane crash. Zigzagging around. I wonder what the play is here. I should have waited, man. That's so dumb. I, I could have had him like halfway on the bridge, not expecting anything, and then I just come out the bush and just shoot him in the face. I could have just you know played it that way. Instead, I decided to go for the headshot instantly. Is he still there? I don't think that was the right play, to be honest. He could have more friends as well behind him that won't come on the bridge now because of, you know, the play I made. That's kind of an L. Look at that, there's actually a pretty big base behind these w uh, windows, what am I gonna say? Behind these trees here. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even know this place was here. This might be someone's base. That might be like these people must love the area if they're building here. They must love the per or the area 42. You know what? I actually bet this is the, the, the base of the guys that's that I just shot at. I actually bet it is. Because why does he love this bridge so much? This is like usually like the low key bridge. So why take this bridge? Alright, I've waited like two more minutes. Maybe... He might try it again. I can't, I can't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna peek the right side. If I peek the right side, it's too obvious. Wait. He's zigzagging to me on the bridge. There's no way, bro. There's no way he's trying it again. I don't- I don't believe- that's not- that doesn't make sense. Okay, what is the best angle I can get here? Cause I have to hit. That's- that's what- is it two? Is that the same- yeah, it's a different guy. I knew it. I knew it. it's two guys, bro. It's two- they're full zigzagging with full confidence. I guess I gotta scare him, scare the second guy for the first guy. I gotta hit the first guy. Ooh, this is a tough one. Okay, we gotta do it this way. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, that's a tapper. That is a tapper. 50 cal it is. There comes the 50 cal. Can I do this? Where is he? Is that him? That's not him. That is him. That's a hit, that's a hit, that's a hit, that's a hit, okay. Where did he go? Okay, 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 I've, I've seen enough. Let me just get out of here. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, what's my strategy gonna be? This guy has a tapper, so it's a one tap to me, and I have to hit them four times in total. Okay, so the tree line is actually gonna end here, and there's nowhere, no wood. Okay, I'm just gonna sit in here. I'm gonna do the bush play. The tree line ends here. Like, if I keep running, I'm dead. This is all I got. This is what I gotta do. Just pray that's their base and that they accept not killing me. <laughs> this is not gonna go well, guys. This is not gonna go well. 
I don't understand why you would be so psychopathic to actually run the bridge after I just shot at him. Like, why would you zigzag? Like, he's so confident, probably because of the tapper, though. Okay, so that guy is actually on the hill. So what I found out a little bit of a trick. I don't know if it's a trick. I don't know if I'm just exposing myself. But if I lean to the left here, I have this little gap in the leaves, and I can see that the guy is moving on the hill. It's a very... That's a, I thought I heard a gamma, right? Okay, now, the guy is on the hill scoping out the area because he, he realizes that I cannot have run the open field without him seeing me. So he's on the hill. I'm trying to, like, lean left and right so I can get, like, a little bit of a... I can barely see through those pixels, but my point is, I'm exposed to the right side right now. So if I expose myself to the right side, my left side's gonna be covered, unless I do this little lean. I'm trying to figure out the tiniest bit of movement. If I see, like, a little bit of movement in between those leaves, I can tell it's a guy. Or I don't know if it's a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's a guy, basically. Um... I'm gonna have to try my best to show you guys exactly what I mean by that, but there's like just a little bit of a pixel moving on those rocks. And I think it's a guy moving around. It's like the smallest bit of... It's probably the sneakiest way I've ever spotted someone in this game, ever. That That is the way... That is the most sneaky... <laughs> That's so dumb. And he doesn't know... He doesn't have a clue. By the way, for the people who couldn't actually see him, this is where he was standing, on that exact rock is where I could spot him. I don't know if he's still there. But that's where you could see him. So if you're looking back in the video trying to figure it out, that's exactly where he was. Now, I don't see him anymore up there, so... I wonder if they've given up, or if he's got onto the fact that I couldn't have made the open field. Bro, what? There's a bush rattling. There's someone behind me. He knows. He's heard me too, uh, probably. Oh, this guy there. Oh! He's seen me. Oh my god. What? Huh? What? There's no way right now. There's no way that happened. Not a chance. Not a chance he killed his teammate. Not a chance. Bro. What? Grab the stuff. They're geared. They're like they're like big clan type geared. Gen 4s, SRSs, big tappers, shoes. Let's go! What is that fight? What is that fight? They killed each other on accident. I killed one with the AWM. These guys were bad. Like, I don't mean to- I don't mean to be toxic, but that is bad. Killing your own teammate mid-fight. That is some- Oh my god. That is some next level stuff. He unloaded- look, look he, he has an AR-50, and he had to unload the entire mag, and he still didn't kill me. That is bad, guys. That is bad. I had to- I could reload, prone, mess up my whole fight, and then I could get back, tap him with the AW- or with the AWM, which only does like half the damage this gun that I have now does. That's some next level stuff, bro. That is some next level stuff. I wonder if that's their base. I did, they didn't want to. Didn't want to stick around for long because that might be their base. And if they can spawn on their sleeping bag and just you know tap me from their base, that'd be bad. So I'd rather just take the win and run. I made sure to stash my newly acquired gear in the tent, which was soon going to be a little fortress up the hill. But at this exact moment, I had a big chance. I could finally try and learn to range my gun properly and try something out. Because there was actually a king of the hill in Baldoboro, just down the hill. Guys, speaking of snipers, this is, this is lovely. 
So my teammate's actually pinging people out because he's just loaded into the game. And he is, thinks he has spotted someone, but he's not too sure. I'm looking from all the way up the hill here in my little humble school soon-to-be compound. But I'm not too sure exactly where to look. The smoke on there is actually yellow, which means that it's not being captured at the moment. So no one is inside the King of the Hill zone. They need to capture the flag basically for like 10 minutes straight and then it's, it's captured. But no one's there exactly yet. The guy's for some reason crouching on the top of the... On top of the king of the hill. Oh, he's running now. Okay, I'm not gonna take a shot. I don't want to reveal my position just yet. I'm not suppressed. Oh, there's people down here in the trees as well. I just see him walk. Yeah, there's another one walking around. I don't know if that's the same team or if it's another team. But he's not very confident. I think I see him in the tree. I need to get a range though. Where where are these trees? These trees must be like here. Okay, let me just T-ping it. Let's see how far that is. 600 meters. Okay. Let's let's give this this let's give this a shot. Let me try it. Oh! His mate's running. His mate's running. He's taking a long run. He has no clue where that's from, I guess. He just hears it up the mountain, probably. You killed him. Yeah, I killed one. Oh, it was AFK. Me, yeah. yeah, it was AFK in the tree, my friend. <laughs> you just stand there. I see one little pixel. I think, is that the guy? Just try and shoot at it, and he actually died. That's lovely. After getting this nice shot, my friend arrived at the tent, and I decided to give him some loot so he could fight with me at this king of the hill. We decided to get a different position in the mountains. Considering I just shot out loud and I didn't want people to see me. But unfortunately the fog turned up and it became darker and darker and therefore it was much harder to see these people down there. Wasn't it right there? Isn't there someone laying on the ground? Oh, I see what you see. I don't know if that's a guy. I can't tell. Me? It's too foggy, my friend. It's too foggy. I can't see if that's an actual person. Okay. It also doesn't make sense to me, because he doesn't have to be on the top of the construction to capture the flag. He can just be down there, you know? All the way down, in a safe spot. Mm -hmm. Where did you kill the first guy? He was standing inside one of the... This, I think it was this tree. Or these two trees, right over there. It's really, really hard to see from here. With the fog. It took some time before the flag was captured, but finally when it did get captured, the fog cleared and it was much lighter now, we could see much better. I don't see anyone, but considering the flag is green... I'm running down. Yeah, I, I, considering the flag is green, they, they have to, you know, go and capture the loot, which spawns on the exact top. So we're gonna have to wait this one out until he decides to go. The fog's clear, or the smoke's... Oh, he's going. He's there, he's prone. I don't remember. I got the oh, kill. shit. <laughs> I had it range 600 and it worked. <laughs> Damn. Well, that was loud as fuck. It was really loud. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get this loot, but... I mean, the kill's the kill, right? At this point, I learned what the sniper's number one mistake is. And the sniper's number one mistake is actually that you stay in one position after you've shot unsuppressed. And I learned that fairly quickly after I took this shot. I'm going for it. Okay, I've moved a little bit from the last position, but he should be... Oh, there's a the first shot. Trying to bait him on top. Oh, the, the crane tanked my shot. Did you shoot? My shot. Yeah, yeah, I did shoot. I'm moving to the left a little bit here, but... Yeah, first he's moving. So he's on the oh, body right now? Oh, dead fuck! Wait, what? Oh, he was right... Right behind you. Yeah, I should have moved. Oh, that's yeah. so stupid. That like, is so stupid. Mm, he killed you like one, 175 meters. Oh, yeah, so he was right behind me on the hill, next to our base. He must have run all the way up then. Yeah, fuck.
I spawned in back as a freshie and I decided to go to the safe zone in hopes of buying some materials with the leftover money I had. Hello mate. Low low my friend. What's do you, up? Do you wanna buy Do you wanna buy a roller? Uh I don't really need a roller though my friend, but you know. What do you need? Do you need money? I, I need uh, 400 dollars. <laughs> oh, what do you need it for? What are you buying? Uh, I am gonna buy the night vision. Uh, hold on, one second. I am new in this server, man. I don't have so much. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Here, man, take this. Oh, no, take no, I don't, don't even, I don't even need this, man. No, I don't, don't even need this, thank, thank you, but are you sure? Like, I don't need this. Oh. Uh, I am trying to find some nails, but it's really hard. It is, yeah. I have uh, the Bitcoin farm key. Oh, very nice, very nice. People, people are saying I have to save it because you can get some, uh, some Bitcoins and you got a high tire loot. Yeah, I've never used it, but I think you can craft bitcoins, or not craft bitcoins, you can, yeah, you know, make bitcoins with it, if you have the materials. I mean, if you're solo, are you looking for a teammate, potentially? Yeah, sure, man. Because I found a pretty, pretty decent location, uh, but I've only have a, I only have a tent down, and I just now found a couple boxes of nails, so... Oh, oh okay. Uh, well, you, what we're, we are gonna play tonight, uh... We are three with you if you wanna play with us. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I can only play like later because I have to do some training, but um, yeah, but I, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, you live in the UK? I'm in the Netherlands, so it's the other side of the ocean basically, or sea, whatever you wanna call it. From the UK. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> cool. I am from Sweden and the other guy is from the UK. Ah, very, very nice. And just like that, I had made a friend. The other people that I previously played didn't like the server as much, or didn't get along. And therefore, with this guy, I could finally have a teammate. So this guy, alongside with Reacher, would potentially be my teammates, and I decided to continue, hopefully getting a base down with him. Very interesting. So I was just looking down the hill here. And I noticed that there's actually a little tower, apartment base. And it looks very raided or despawned. I don't know what's going on over there. But that does not look very stable. Uh, so I think we need to go down downtown. Down into the town. And uh, I need to check that out. Because maybe that means it might be despawned. And if it's despawned, there could be some loot laying around. Now for now, the uh, the school is not in very good shape. So we're gonna have to build up soon as well. I've I've gathered about a couple boxes of nails and um Zora also managed to bring in two boxes of nails, so we need to get those together and build up. But first I wanna check out that base, see if we can get anything uh, any leftovers. And yeah, then we can start building this base. Which is gonna be very important because without this base, I think we'll get raided very soon, because the raid tools are gonna be uh, implemented soon. So that means people can get raid tools and people could just raid our humble tent. And yeah, we need we need to upgrade. Let's just put it that way. Need some walls over there. Need some walls over there. We need to cover like all the windows. It's gonna be tough. I need to move this tent as well. This is like a horrible position. But four boxes of nails is doing us good. So with four boxes, we should be uh, able to get a little bit of a start done. Okay, look at that. I don't think it's actually been raided since there's a door on the front. Oh, never mind. You can open it. Okay. Half wall there. <clears throat> Interesting. So, on the roof, it seemed like they had been dismantled. They dismantled the walls or whatever was up there. So, I'm going to go ahead and check that out, actually. There's wooden logs, which means that it has been dismantled. So someone has definitely done something to the space. 
I can't take the logs with me either. Um, okay, that's very interesting. There's no loot around, though. So I wonder what that means. Maybe there's loot down here. You would think there had to be, like, one room, right? Or maybe up there, secretly. There has to be, like, one room where there's loot. There's actually a way where you could be able to get on the top here. I don't really know how to jump it. There is a way to get to the top there. So maybe they did that to uh, get access. Okay, that's not gonna work. I don't know, you, you think they have like a room, like a secret room in the apartment where they would keep keep their loot? Or maybe they just, just got raided. Maybe they just got wiped clean. There's a crate on the ground here. Or well, crate. Some loose items with bacon and a bunch of injectors. I think this is probably remains of the raided base. Nothing in here. Nothing hide hidden behind there. I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be all they have left. It doesn't look like it's very much. They've probably just been wiped clean. What's interesting to me is the fact that I've never seen anything regarding to the building. So, so no, no one would- oh yeah, there it is. Oh, 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 PKM? AWM? Okay, we're taking that. G3, A3, I cannot take. Okay, actually a base building book left here. That's very interesting, you know. I can't take that, can I? I guess I'm gonna have to leave that G3A3 on the ground, because I want to take this stuff. That's very interesting. I don't understand why... It's the why I don't understand, but... Oh well. After managing to get this slight win, I decided to return back to base and use the nails that we had acquired to start building our fortress. Well, I'm trying to get this sleeping bag, right? But the sleeping bag, it doesn't allow me to pack the sleeping bag. I'm trying to get an angle on it, but it's not working. Oh, wait, someone captured the King of the Hill. I just seen it on the top of my screen. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so that means that someone's going to grab the loot in a second. So if I'm quick, I can try and grab one of my guns here. And hopefully, put that scope on. Uh, I could use that ammo. Now, last time, they were too scared to grab the loot from the King of the Hill. There should be 600 meters. They, they could have already grabbed it in the meantime, to be fair. He could have already went for it. That was a shot in the dark. I don't even know if that was... This, just a random try. I don't know if that worked. Not dead, that's for sure. I don't know... That's a very far snipe, so it's a very... It's more likely that I missed it than that I hit it. They're still there, though. Okay, that was definitely not a hit. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna lay low. I hope they don't, you know, decide to push up here because I'm not really finished with building. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have decided, you know, start shooting. But oh well. Okay, guys. So I just continued getting, you know, removing the flagpole and replacing it. And I've seen that Sorkin in chat is saying. There's two guys running to the base. Uh, so I think the guys that I shot at from the King of the Hill are coming back up here. That would make sense. Two people, yeah, two. Okay, that makes sense. I need to grab myself a gun then and a vest so I could potentially fight these guys. Actually, I hear them below me now that I'm... Yeah, they're, they're right, right on the school. Inside, yeah. The Sorkin's gonna get a different angle. I need to get myself a vest. I believe we've blocked off the X or the availability for the roof, so they shouldn't be able to get on the roof and get a sneak attack. But he will be below me, like a layer below me. I don't know if he's went to the stair yet. They're probably trying to figure out what, you know, where the shot came from. Exactly. Exactly. 
I hear him jumping around, so he's definitely still here. He's behind me somewhere. Or maybe below? Is he on, he's on rocks. Is he like outside here? One's jumping. Oh, that's, that's one. Okay, that's not gonna cut it. He's got an AWM. He's shooting at me. If he headshots me, it's a one tap. Body shot is two tap. Can I take it? Probably not worth it. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. So Sorkin's shooting from range. I'm trying to flank these guys. Potentially sneak on them. I think they're pretty pissed off. I'm trying to get him to ping the exact location of them so I can properly flank them. Mm. This is going to be weird. Risky this. We need to make this compound into something, man. Oh, he's right down the rocks. Okay, I could flank him left side or right side. Right side's probably more safe. But it's two of them, and I only saw one on the rocks. This won't work. He's not on those rocks anymore. Trying to hear something, but I think they're not around the corner here. This school's so buggy, it disappears if you look at a certain angle. Look at that. This disappears. He was right there on the tower, and then the other guy was on the rocks. Maybe he was pushing Sorkin, because Sorkin shot from range. Oh, he's still on the rocks. Okay, I'm just gonna go send it right side, I suppose. Gonna go below this. Oh, but then I'm below the rocks. Is that good? I'm gonna take my boots off, I think, to make a sneaky approach. Should I? Don't wanna get cuts, though. Fuck it. Still running above me. Good news. They're probably checking the school back out again, to be fair. I mean, they know I was inside. Don't hear him anymore. I have a plan. If I, if I sit on the ledge here, and I let Sorkin bait the shot, if I let Sorkin bait it from range, then they might start peeking him again from those same rocks where he was peeking earlier. And if that's the case, I can then sneak behind him with the PKM and shoot him when he doesn't expect it. Just catch him off guard. But if they see me first, it's not going to work. I'm going to make the sneaky approach here. Try this. I've asked him to bait shoot. I don't really like my position because I, d I think I don't really have an angle on the rocks, but I need to try it. I'm trying to let him bait shoot it. There we go. He's doing it. I think it worked. They're running here. Shit. That's not good. I can't. Nah, this is this is hor This is a horrible angle. The the plan was good, but that the execution of him for me was just bad because I couldn't I couldn't get a proper angle on them. I didn't know they were gonna peek there though. Like why would they peek exactly there? 
That's, I don't know, that was fortunate and unfortunate at the same time, because if they would have peeked on the same rocks, I could have, you know, made the sneaky approach, which was, is what I wanted to do in the first place. It just didn't work, man. Spawned back in and ran all the way back, but because Sorkin was still there, they did not want to give up. They were determined to kill Sorkin, and when I tried to run up the hill, it ended very quickly in a very interesting death. Okay, so the, the guys are still there. So I've actually thought of this thing, right? There's, there was this gun, this G3 A3 that I left earlier in this apartment when I found it out. And I couldn't take it, so I've left it here, so I remember that. It's not that far from my base. So I'm gonna go flank around the right side now with my gun. Hopefully I can do the same thing and sneak up behind them, but this time execute it the right way. So I'm gonna have to go all the way around to the base. And then hopefully this will work. Well, it seems like, uh, yeah, the guys have left. I don't know if that's fully the case, though. I'm gonna quickly make the sneaky approach to the window here. I don't. I, I think they were just pissed off that I shot at them from all the way up here, and now they're trying to make sure that um, that they killed us. But I think uh, Sorkin's still alive. Sorkin hasn't died. I I'm just here back here. Sorkin's back here now too. I think they left. I think they left. I don't know, that's very, very interesting though. I guess they heard the shot, so we need to work on that in the future, because if we're not suppressed, that means they can catch us. So in the future, we need to, if we're sniping, we need to be suppressed, which is kind of a very dick move to sit up here with a suppressed gun. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to succeed in DayZ sometimes. I need to learn how to properly hit snipes, because I can only hit them now if people are standing still. And even then, it's sometimes kind of hard on, on that range. Must have left, bro. They must have left. Oh, shit. You scared the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't mean to, man. Sorry. They're definitely gone. Otherwise, uh, I would have known. Yeah, I hit one guy two times, but... Um, there was one guy behind me. But... Well, that was indeed the case. They left, and we didn't see them again for quite a while. Getting some more loot that Sorkin had gathered and really didn't want to lose, I decided to log off for the day. Hopefully tomorrow we could continue the building and make our base better. So the next day I did it. I continued building, I started to build up some half walls so people could not boost jump over this wall with two people. To make sure they wouldn't be able to get on the roof and get a sneaky approach, this way the base would be more secured. Next, I blocked off the ladder to make sure people would not be able to use this ladder to get a sneaky approach to the tent on the top in case they did use something to get on the roof, just to make sure. Then I realized if I build one wall, they can just use that wall to boost and I had to build a second wall up to make sure they could not actually do it. Then looted the big town of Waldeboro next to us in hopes of finding some nails, but instead we found this key for Stonington. Oh, cool. So we did what had to be done and we went for the key. I am feeling it. Okay, where is this key room? Okay, this has to be it. There we go. This is the one. Alarms. You can do it. You have a crate. Uh, nah. Oh. Oh. A key Wait. Corner. There's another box. What is this? Okay. Oh. Ruger and ARX. Nice. Okay. 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 So we've got two vests, two guns, and a key card. Not too bad, actually, not too bad. You got the mag on it? Oh, nice. You know what? Oh, they've got, they've got mags in them as well. That's nice. Okay, that's good. All right. Let's get out of here. After getting the loot from the keycard, I went to the nearest extract zone in hopes of meeting Sorkin there. Sorkin would then pick up the loot that I managed to get from the key room, and then I could kill myself and spawn closer to our base. Oh, cool. We both made it back to base, and luckily this morning, before I managed to get online and managed to use them all, Sorka managed to find some more nails, and this way we could use these nails to continue building the base. I was running around, I found the hansa and a pile of wood, <laughs> but oh shit, I take everything. Oh nice man, that's good stuff. Okay, so we can use all those planks now then. Let's start building. Yeah, I took everything I could. But this is nice, it's only damage at the moment. So. Yeah.
Eventually, we ran out of nails, and we decided to go for an airdrop very close to us at the Rockenheim circuit. This was only a kilometer or one and a half kilometer away from us, so we saw no reason not to try and take this airdrop, but we wouldn't be alone. ATC holding there. I can see. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> no! Oh man. Swagger killed you. C14 Timberwolf. <laughs> he must have been the other side. I got one tap. Yeah, he must have headshot you. I wonder where this guy's at. He could be anywhere, really, but the airdrop's already on the ground, so I gotta get closer. I didn't hear the shot you either. Yeah, I heard the shot a little later though. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Because you died to the shot, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have heard it. Because the sound comes after, I guess. <laughs> now I hope he's not gone straight for the airdrop because he could have been on the airdrop already when he killed you. He's shooting right now. <laughs> not a headshot. I hit him once. That was not a kill, unfortunately. I hit him once though. I don't know exactly how he can move here. He's still shooting zombies. It's a good angle. Okay, maybe outside. Oh, there he is. He's dead now. What is he doing? Why is he like... Jump. He just got shot and then he's still killing zombies. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, I killed one. I'm not sure if it's more. Uh, um. The way, nice. The way he played it, the, the way he like, you know, stood there in the open with full confidence, <laughs> I feel like he's not alone. But I could be wrong, and it's the same guy that killed you. I was gonna run for the airdrop, but then when I was getting out, I heard this guy, or I think it's a guy at least. Zombies are mad. Is that to me? Oh no, there's a door just opened, it's definitely a guy. So weird. They opened the door. Another door opened. He must be in trouble with the zombies, no? He's got like six zombies on him, he must have like all the zombies that were on uh, me first. Running. Take my stuff first, though, should I try to get a gun? Uh, probably get a gun, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, actually you can probably get your stuff. Unless this guy's looted it, but I doubt he has. What is yeah, going on? Where is the guy? I hear a bunch of angry zombies. Oh! Oh, 800 meters. Oh! Run! Okay, that worked somehow. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. I just jumped off a building. That somehow worked. I don't even know how. I, d I didn't mean to... I thought I had my, like, my full auto out, and then I just... Uh, <laughs> oh, he's pushing. You done? Oh my god. Unconscious after two AK bullets. What is that? No. Bro. I'm, I think I'm dead. I'm running. I don't know if he knows I'm locked though. He might not even know that I'm unconscious. He could have heard it, but I don't know. He have Oh, he don't have my gear. He could be in that other room waiting. Okay. Wait, he's putting an, He's healing. He's healing. I hear him healing. Okay, wait, that gives me an opportunity. He's low as well, he's low as well. 100, 100 I hear him. Meters away. His character is like crying, like, ugh, uh, you know, like the, the sound when you're low HP. So he's low as well. Need to make sure he's not coming. I think he's using IFX. I'm trying to heal as well. <laughs> this is such a bad situation, man. Like, we're both just sitting there healing. I can hear him healing in the other room. Oh, he's opened his door. Okay, come on. He's pushing, I think. Yeah. Huh? Why is he... He's opened my door. Hey, what's the idea behind this? Is he gonna go outside? I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, my friend. This is the weirdest fight. I don't even know what the best position is for me to stand in either. 
He might nade me actually. He my stuff. That was in the store. He's outside? Oh, he's inside. Huh? He's in the same room again, I think. He's outside now? Is he? No, he's not. He is. Oh, somebody took my stuff. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. This guy is so... I, I don't know what's going on. He's like trying to kill me, Come but he in. doesn't know what's going on. And He's just outside this, this building. He's, he's got zombies on him. He's inside again. Wait. Huh? I heard the uh, FM fall. I need to get out of this building. Oh, come on. Huh? Where is he? <laughs> Why did the zombies just ditch him? Is he like dead to zombies? Why are the zombies there? I think that's him again. Yeah, he's again inside, inside the there? hallways. Inside the hallways, yeah, yeah. He's shooting. He's not dead yet. I don't know if I un unk on him. Maybe I yeah. maybe I did some damage. Oh, oh, the zombies. I've got the zombies now. I, I don't even have bullets for this. He's in that room, I think. Might be on, might have gone unconscious, but maybe not. There's too many zombies for me, man. I don't have ammo for this. Wait, I think I saw him moving. Yeah, he's running. He's running. Outside again, to the fire station. The fact that there's like 10,000 zombies. Is that, wait, is that zombie accurate to me? Did he accurate? Huh? Oh. The fact that this these zombies are here, it makes it so much more... Bro, I don't understand what's going on. I don't, I don't know where this guy went. I saw him running. Yeah, I'm, I'm running around looking for him. Is he on the airdrop? Maybe. It's me shooting somewhere. I don't get it. I don't get. I don't. <laughs> I don't know where this guy is. Is this a zombie? No, yeah, it's a zombie. That's you. Yeah. Okay. I need to close these zombies in somehow, somewhere. Oh shit! Ah. Need help? Okay. Just, just, just shoot him, just shoot him. Oh, what? I'm hoping Four this cops. guy didn't <laughs> just, just shoot the zombies, I guess, if you can, bro. I'm trying to figure out if this, if this guy took the airdrop loot or the body. If he did. No, he just took the, the loot and left, right? Okay, that, that dude's unlooted, so there's no way it's him. He probably does not have the airdrop loot. Maybe uh, he stashed it. I have the FM4. A few bullets left, but... He doesn't have the airdrop loot, I don't think. Or maybe he does, actually. Can't tell. We managed to loot the guy that was on the ground that I managed to kill. The airdrop was now empty because my teammate had managed to loot it earlier when I was fighting him. But the other guy who actually killed still had his loot as well. Which meant that the guy that we were fighting in the hallways has just disappeared. He wasn't dead because the kill feed clearly showed that he wasn't dead. But the question is, where did he go? Was he just camping in that room? Well, potentially. When we arrived back to base, my teammate actually told me that the key he managed to get from the airdrop is for the Rockenheim circuit. Which is the exact place where we had been fighting. Okay, so we have the key for Rockenheim Circuit, which is basically the same place we fought. And... We need nails, so we kind of need to open that key room in hopes of getting nails. Um, yeah. So it was easy to make the choice, but when we arrived there, I was a little bit ahead of my friend, and we got surprised. Oh! On me! I don't know. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's not good. Okay, I have all the part items on us as well, because I thought, okay, we're going to be high tier, we're going to be doing the key room we need to sell. So, I'm going to have to go and stash those. Okay, so since the guy was there, he only saw you in the middle of the road, not really paying attention. I don't think this guy will... 
Has be hasn't done the loot. I think he would literally be looting the body, or he's already looted it, to be fair. I don't really know what angle to get on the body. But it only makes sense that he's already looted it, so... I don't know if I should even be engaging in this fire. Maybe I should just wait until he leaves high tier. I could wait like 5 to 10 minutes and just wait until he leaves. He's already got the loot, so there's no reason for me to send it in there. And especially if there's multiple people, I'll probably die. Okay, it's dark now. I think we should be good. It's been like 10 minutes already. It's dark now, so he should be, shouldn't be here. But the guy is actually not here anymore. I can't see anyone there. I'm assuming that we're good here. That guy? I can't tell. Of course, that's a guy. Okay. Oh, it's not going to go well. He's not leaving, bro. I shouldn't have taken the bar times either. I should have just... Yeah, I'm just going to snatch them there again. Okay, my friend. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait until he leaves. Or we're going to have to fight him. And I don't know if it's one guy. I'm assuming it is, considering, you know, the way he fights. Yeah. Okay, I'm in this side room, right? I've opened this door. I have an angle on the front here. Or almost an angle on the front of the black market. I'm assuming he's not stayed there. If he stayed there, he's dead. He's going to be full dead. So where would he move? Wait, I hear someone running. Should be. He's outside my building. He's, he's running on the on the racetrack. On the racetrack. Your way, your yeah. way. I see your way. He's running, running down the racetrack towards the church. Let's see if I'm getting. Oh, he's outside. Yeah, I saw him. He's running through the behind the. the yeah. Fire. Hold on, I'm just gonna hard scope him. Just to make sure he's hit. He's hit once. Hit once. He's here somewhere. Behind there. Alright, what is this guy doing? I just missed him, just missed him. He's still, still, what he's just, he's just gone down to the last shop, last shop, last shop down the road. The last little store there. Yeah, he's. He's inside here. Okay, I'm gonna try going right side again on the road. Oh, I am dead. Oh, shit. Oh, Can't that's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, I was about to flank. Oh, wait, he's running around <sighs> the corner again. Is he going through your body? There's no way he's running through your body. Please be that stupid and run to his body. Man. I, I only saw one. Uh. He's gone now. I don't know if I should, have, should rush him or not. I don't really have... I have like zero uh, bullets for my close range weapon, so it's gonna be tapper PvP. And I don't even have a tapper. So I'm gonna be sniping him at close range. That's not gonna end well. If he has a full auto close range. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just holding your body for now. I guess the guy's dead. I don't know. Could be sitting in that same building. Oh, I hate this. If I just had more bullets than nine bullets in my G382, I would have pushed this guy. Okay, so my R700 skin is uh, glow in the dark, which means that if I'm using my sniper, that means that, you know, you, people will see me through, like, some so far away, because it's glowing. So I've had to wait until it's day now. It's still going to be obvious. But I haven't seen this guy since he's shot, and I hope he's left. Um, there's no way he's gone to the body. I'm trying to see if I can get my stash here. That's him, isn't it? Is that him? He's waiting behind the tree. I, I, oh, this is horrible. I missed once. Where's he gone? Is he really gonna go inside? There's no... I'm, oh, I've jumped. I shouldn't have jumped. I couldn't dodge the bullet. That's so bad. Ah. On the bright side though, when I returned back from base on my sleeping bag, I noticed that the guy was gone and the stash was still there. Luckily. It was kind of a bad spot to stash, but luckily we still managed to make it. 
We sold all the barter items and managed to get all the money we needed. And then we opened the key room which we came for. Okay, please. Empty. Really? Really? Oh no, it's not empty, okay. We got a helmet, 10-4, two guns, two four-weights. Okay, that's not the best loot, but it's alright. Okay, not gonna lie. No nails, kind of disappointment. But, I have something for you. You just come here. I have a Gen 4 for you, and I have a... Another Gen 4 a helmet for you, and I have a... Uh, Baird MRAT for you, or the other gun, so you can use this to snipe. Now with the money we got from the high tier trader, we didn't only buy nails, but we also decided to get ourselves some storage to make sure we could have some loot in our base. Once we got back to base, I started to mess around, placing the storage boxes, moving the wooden crates, and making sure our base was in the right direction. And to finish it off, I made sure that the base was now built even further, and that we now had all the windows blocked off, and we actually had a little bit of a compound inside the school that was safe to walk, without being able to get shot through windows. And that's where I'm going to end episode 1. In this episode, we built up our base, fought many people, learned a couple things about sniping, and how we should range our guns. In the next episode, I hope to not only get better at sniping, but also take on some big clans. And find out where all the riches are on the server. Now what's going to happen with this adventure and what the sniper is going to be experiencing is going to be something you will see next week.